Hello everyone welcome back to Design Gold channel. Today we are going to talk about PAVE 3 nets on surface function. Are you ready let's get started. First open the file in the project file library. This is the file where we are going to pave the pattern. We select the object. Then we click on the pave 3D nets function. A function window will pop up, like in the video. Then we click on the nets library. There are hundreds of patterns to choose from in the nets library. For example, take this pattern and double click on it to apply it to a surface. Then we can adjust the parameters. Click preview render pipe. Click hide target object to hide the surface. We can scale the pattern. Rotate pattern. Y axis scaling. Z axis stereoscopic scaling. X spacing. Y interval. Overall X axis movement. Overall Y axis movement. Individual rotation. You can adjust the line thickness, segments, and accuracy. Finally, click Add Mesh Pipe to document to generate a mesh pipe. We use the distance to measure the gap of the mesh. Adjust all the parameters and click OK. For the rest of the mesh, use the same operation to add the pattern. If you want to add twisted ropes, just generate the curves. Then use the twisted rope tool to batch generate. Adjust the size and distance of the twisted rope, right click OK. The whole process is very simple. Next we continue to complete the other patterns. It's very easy. Next, use the Pave 3D Nets tool to lay out the custom pattern. First select the trimmed mesh surface. Click on the Pave 3D Nets tool. In the Pave 3D Nets window, click on Base Curves. Select our curved pattern and right-click to finish. You can see the pattern is quickly paved on the mesh surface. Here is a switch between the hexagonal and array effects. Adjust the Z-axis scale to make it more three-dimensional. The whole process is very simple. Let's switch to other customized patterns. If we draw a pattern that is more three-dimensional, dragging the Z-axis scale will make it more three-dimensional. Each step of the adjustment is very simple. Click OK when you've made all the adjustments. How do I save and load a pattern? Select the surface and click Pave 3D Nets. Pick up a customized pattern. Adjust the parameters in the panel according to your own requirements. When you're done making adjustments, we click on Save Style here. Enter a name and click Save. After saving, we open another model. Select the surface and click on the Pave 3D Nets tool. Load Style. This is the mesh style we just set up. This can be applied to other surfaces and meshes as well. The process is very simple. How to save a mesh to the library. First, we adjust it in the Pave 3D Nets tool. Like in the video. Y 
Once you have done that, click on the Nets library. Enter a name. In the settings you can set the color and preview the number of image arrays. Finally, we click save. It's very simple. That's it for today's video. Thank you for watching. If you like our features remember to subscribe us. We will update more powerful functions in the future.